Hi, Marcus. Uh, you came back for an extra year. Um, probably was not the start of the season you envisioned. How tough was that? Were there second thoughts about coming back? I mean, obviously some, some players quit. Um, transferred? Was that ever a thought? And, and you obviously played very well last week. What was, what was the reason for that? Um, I think naturally like, it's human nature, you know, to uh, maybe have second guess, second guesses, you know, second thoughts if uh, things don't go your way. Um, you know, fortunately, I was able to just put my head down and work. And uh, I, I think I just I have too much love for this team to to want to put myself first before the team. So I decided to, uh, you know, just keep working because that's what we do. And right next door, Joey Kaufman, Columbus Dispatch. Marcus, what have you seen from um, Talia, uh, Maryland's quarterback so far, just kind of watching film with him? Um, he seems to be pretty accurate. Uh, you know, he's got a lot of weapons around him. Um, you know, I think it'll be an exciting matchup for our defense and for our team. Um, I think we have a lot of respect for them going in early, and uh, we'll just see how this week of practice goes. We go fourth row left. Griffin Strom, 11 Warriors. Hey, Marcus. Uh, Ryan told us that you had to uh, really clear some distractions um, out of your head this past week. I was wondering if you were able to kind of expound upon that and maybe what some of those distractions were for you. Um, you know, I would say this. Like, uh, this season didn't go how I personally envisioned for myself, but um, I've always, you know, since – since PU, I've considered myself, you know, a team player. And, uh, you know, sometimes you got to just put your ego aside, put the distractions aside, you know, people in your ear, um, people in the community back home, whatever it may be, and just kind of put your best foot forward and focus on the team. And uh, that's what I decided to do. So. And then also, um, Brian was telling us that, that uh, Craig Young has been moving around in, in safety roles, maybe playing some cover safety. Um, what have you seen out of him um, in that role, and what kind of makes him uh, stand out playing uh, safety? Uh, First off, I love Craig. Like, great guy, man. Uh, you know, um, I think what's special about Craig is, you know, he's such a versatile athlete. Like, he's one of the probably the biggest DB in the room, but he moves like he's, you know, like, like he's a smaller guy. And so just having that versatility of him, you know, his, his physicality, you know, his his foot speed, his hips, his his long speed. Um, Craig is a guy that can be used in a lot of roles, and uh, we're really glad to have him. You're sort of alluding to this, but the coaches in the offseason talked a lot about the, the depth that they thought was being built with the young guys. Mm -hmm. And now it seems like more that the depth actually with some of those young guys are the best guys on defense, and then guys like you were kind of filling in behind that. Is that like how many weeks in does that realization kind of hit you? And is that sort of what you're talking about that everybody has to kind of process that in, mm -hmm. in a different way? Um, you know, like I said earlier, it might be human nature to, to think. You know, I'm the guy, you know, uh, but, you know, for a lot of guys, that doesn't go that way. You know, there's, um, I don't know the exact number, 100-something guys on the team. And so everybody has to find their role, find their niche, find what they're different at, find what they're good at, um, and, and then find your limitations and, and figure out where you fall in from there. And when you understand that role, um, I think it just allows you to go that much harder and see how, how far you can get. Um, so I think that's what makes this team special is a lot of guys have that mindset. And um, like you said, top to bottom, uh, it's just all starting to come together. Uh, second row right, uh, Austin Ward, Letterman Ross. Marcus, I'm not trying to uh, dig into any game plan, but how different does it feel what you guys do, what you have done the last couple of weeks um, than what you started the year with? How, how challenging was it to maybe make some of those changes in the middle of the year after all of spring and all of training camp and going in the first couple um, of weeks? I don't think it was that challenging at all. Um, I think we have an excellent coaching staff. Uh, they they coach with intent. Um, they coach with confidence, and you know just to have them, you know, plug or play, you know, a little different scheme here or there. Um, I don't think it's been that difficult for us. Um, is it just a slight tweak, or has it felt more significant to those of you? That uh, I can only speak from my personal role, um, and even some of the secondary. I I, I don't know if I, I see too much difference. Um, that might be a better question for the coaches, I guess. Uh, but yeah, that's all I really got. Appreciate you. And we'll, we'll wrap it up over here. Third row left, Doug Lamer, EastCleveland.com. Marcus, we're, we're asking a lot of the same questions, but it, uh, we know it can be hard sometimes when you want to play more right. And it seems like you've impressed people with the way you've handled your business here. What, what is the balance for an older player in helping out younger guys 
when maybe some of those younger guys then start getting more snaps, right? Like, how, mm -hmm. how have you handled it? What's the right thing for an older player to do in a situation like that? Um, you know, the word that's been dodging me this whole uh, interview, I guess it just comes down to humility. Um, you know, just taking that, that servant mindset. Um, I think there's a lot of power in that. Um, when you, you know, no matter what, what that guy's role may be, maybe he makes a play. I, I explained this to the, the defensive back room. Um, you know, maybe maybe the buddy next to you, maybe he makes that play. Maybe you thought it was your play to be made. But at the end of the day, you know, you're only hurting yourself when you try to put yourself above the team. And so uh, just, just taking that, 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 that servant mindset, that love mindset that, you know, I'm just, I'm going to put my best foot forward, man. And I'm going to help the team. I think that's, a, like I said earlier, like it's having just huge dividends for what we're doing here.